I think there's something very magical about photography. You can make things happen that cannot happen in real life. To transcend something very simple into something very meaningful. I was born here in Amsterdam. My dad was still studying to become a doctor. And we went to Africa when, um, when I was about two years old. I was always kind of um, amazed by photographers or artists who really found their niche. And it was only after I went back to Africa and started working there that I felt that I found my own my own little way. It was very strange because while traveling there it just hit me somehow. I had very vivid dreams at night. I would wake up in the morning with very strong images in my head and then I would just uh, make small drawings and set out to, uh, to realize them. I did this series um, about the shadow Umbra, because the shadow had always been a very important part in my work. I think shadow in Africa is also something different than shadow here in the West. The sun is so high, the light is so sharp. I always have loved these strong contrasts of light and darkness. The thing is that in South Africa it was still very much um, documentary shot, because all the images that I knew was either um, black and white, very grainy photographs, or it was the beautiful National Geographic pictures of the nature. But I knew that the Maasai, for instance, were wearing Nikes at the same time, you know? Um, so I was really intrigued by that. Also because I saw that in the townships, the merging of the history and culture with the more contemporary urban culture, which came from Europe and and America. And that has always intrigued me. Of course, I'm very much aware of the fact that I'm a white woman with this tool of power, which is the camera, going to Africa. Uh, and that there, in all circumstances, there is, there's always this balance and imbalance in power. I think the most important thing, the way I uh, work with the people uh, that I photograph, the relation between them and me. But they also understand that in most of my pictures, they are, my models are not depicted as themselves, but rather as an idea of themselves, or an idea which is uh, larger, which is more universal or more symbolic. I think from the very first moment I set out to do both my, my art, my personal projects and the fashion photography. I think the fashion en enabled me to just um, have a platform, just uh, explore and to get my work out in the world. I don't feel like a hardcore fashion photographer and neither I feel like a hardcore artist, whatever that may be, but I think I always um try to stay as close to myself as possible to just do whatever I thought was right and what I felt like. So a lot of decisions you take on an unconscious level or subconscious level, I think. Therefore, I often find it hard to describe exactly what I do or why I do something. It is always connected to the self, how I um, env envision the world and how uh, that reflects back. Like my camera is a kind of catalyst for understanding the world and to make a connection with the outside world. 